yo what's up y'all welcome back to another video on the channel in today's video i'm gonna make you a demon in nba 2k25 by teaching you the new way to zen in nba 2k25 in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys a method to abuse the rhythm shooting in nba 2k25 but before we get into the video, I need you to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit the bell so every time I make a video, you guys know about it first. Now, to get right into it, no, this isn't actually using a Zen or a Cronus Max. If you have one of those and you're looking for a new script or a new way to Zen on NBA 2K25, I have no idea how to use those with rhythm shooting. And I, I don't think there is a way to use those as of right now. But... You might be a person who's on PlayStation or Xbox. The requirement to do this method is to have an Xbox Elite controller or a PlayStation 5 controller with paddle. Now, you're probably asking or wondering, why do I need a controller with paddle? Now, the answer to that is because a controller with paddles, you are able to bind whatever you want to those buttons. Now, I'm on Xbox, obviously, and myself, I own an Xbox Elite controller, which is a controller, special controller with custom cu customizable sticks and paddles on the controller now if i go to my xbox accessories you will be able to see that i am on an xbox elite wireless series 2 controller and as you can see on my profile one my two back paddle buttons are my right stick going up and my right stick going down now, I'm going to show you how to, to configure this on Xbox. Sadly, if you're on PlayStation and you have a paddle controller, just figure out a way to bind your paddles to right stick up and down, okay? But if you're on Xbox and you luckily have a Xbox Elite controller, what you want to do is come to configure right here and go to new profile, but I already have the profile done. It's going to show you this setting right here where you're mapping and choosing what you want to put on your controller. Now you go to you go down to the paddles. When I click on one of my paddles, it shows me a primary and a shift. You want to go to the primary and go to where it says right stick. And now it gives you the option to make it uh, clicking the right stick down, putting the right stick up, down, left, right. You feel me? You can you can bind your buttons to literally anything. I put my top left trigger for my right stick going up, my top right trigger for right stick going down. Now when I go back to NBA 2K25, all I have to do is click two buttons for rhythm shooting. Now there is some pros and cons to this. Obviously the pros are that you get a higher green window. That's pretty much the entire reason why anybody will use rhythm shooting in NBA 2K25. Now the con is you're no longer using your actual stick. You're clicking these buttons, clicking. So there is no like timing or rhythm that you you will be doing with your stick anymore so sometimes as you see when I'm shooting it's gonna give you the great timing great tempo right but sometimes that great tempo will be slow so I don't know exactly if it's me holding the um, right button correctly or long enough I don't know if that determines the speed as you can see, I got a slightly late but a great tempo. I don't know if the great tempo or the tempo depends on speed or what exactly it depends on. But I will tell you that it does work consistently if you know your timing. It's just something you're going to have to get used to clicking your back buttons. But you will get a higher green window doing this. And instead of having to rhythm shoot actually, all you have to do is click two buttons. I think it is definitely worth getting used to. If you get used to and master it, you will be able to shoot like a demon like no other because you have you will have a higher green window than regular shooting. But it is awkward and weird to get used to. So use this at your own discretion. If this video helped you out at all in any way, leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also hit the bell so every time I make a video, you guys know about it first. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.